Hi everyone, welcome to my Casual FX115 EX Calculator tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you like this tutorial, make sure to share and subscribe. Today, I'd like to share with you about setting up the calculator to store unique vectors. Then we will look into how to add cross product and a dot product of two vectors. To store unique vectors, I, J, K, three dimension or I, J, in two dimension, follow this step. First, go to the mode, and then number eight, you can see it's a stand for vector, so select A. And here we can see that we can store up to three vectors, A, B, and C. And if you select a vector A, which is one here, and here we have a unit vector in three dimension, I, J, K, or we have a unit vector in the two dimension, which is uh, i and j. So let's say we select number one, which is uh, i, j, k, and we can enter in the column one, two, and three that represent the i, j, and k position. Same thing if we go to the uh, vector with uh, two dimension, and we have a column one and two that represent i and j. And then if we and we can enter the unit vector. So let's say i is a one, j is a two, and save it as e. And now vector is stored in the calculator. As you can see on the top, on the calculator, it show VCD, which means that we have a vector that stored in the calculator. In order to retrieve the vector, you just uh, go to the shift. And as you can see, number five here on the top, there's a vector. So click that. And here we can look at the vector A, B, and C. And then we can perform the dot and cross product. And you can repeat the same step for vector and B and vector C. Let's do an example here. So let's say we wanted to store a three dimension ijk in vector b go to the mode and then go to a and vector b this is going to be a have a three unit vector ijk so we're going to select one and we have number five then number three and number six as a k once you store it Make sure you click AC to save it. And then we can select uh, another vector, which is a two unit vector. Go to mod A. And then let's say we store on the C, in the C, click three. And this is going to be I and J with the two unit vectors. So we select two. And this is going to be nine and two. So once you enter, make sure you click AC to store it. In order to retrieve the vector that we just saw, simply go to a shift number five here, and we store on the B and C, so we can click four, enter here the vector in the U uh, three unit vector I J K, and you want to look at the uh, vector C that we just saw number five here click equal. This is the one that we just saw. Wow. Next. Let's uh, try to add three vectors together. So in this case, we have to clear the vector that we just stored. Just go to the mode and the one, it will clear from the storage for the vector. So first we need to enter the vector. So go to mode and then number A, the first vector A, and then this is going to IJK, three unit vector. So select one and we have a five, three six and then store it repeat the same step for the second vector b it's going to be three unit vector and then we're going to enter two seven and five save it lastly we're going to store the third vector repeat the same step Three vector C, select one, two unit vector. This is going to be four, 
two, nine, and save it. And now, if we wanted to add the uh, vector one, two, and three, right? We just go to Shift, go to find the vector, and then click number three, which is the vector A, plus Shift, number five again, and then vector B, four, and then plus Shift again, vector, and then number five, vector C. And this is the addition of uh, vector one, two, and three. Same thing if we wanted to do for the i and j, the two unit vector, we just have to clear what we stored previously. Let's go to the mode a and then vector a, and then which is uh, two in this case, and we're going to put in five, three, save it, repeat the same step for vector, then vector b. So we're going to do uh, number two because it's two unit vector and the two seven. Save it. So we go back to uh, addition mode. Scroll to shift vector, and then we have stored an A and B. So pretty much we're going to uh, select three plus shift again vector four vector B. So this is vector A plus vector B. And the result will be given by 7 and 10 right here. For the uh, subtract of a 2 vector, we can repeat the same step as well. As previously, we have a store a i and j 3 n vector. And we can check the result, for example, right here. And we just check vector number 3 that we just store. This is uh, 5 and 3, which is the uh, first vector. And check the second vector just to make sure. Here, the B is uh, 2 and 7. So let's say if you want to do the subtract the 2 vector, just simply go to Shift, find the vector. The number 3 vector A, minus, go back again, repeat, and then minus vector B. So vector A minus vector B, that will give you a result for the subtract of a 2 vector. The next topic is cross product of two vector A cross B vector. To get to the cost product using the calculator, the first step is to store the vector in the calculator. Simply just go to mode A, which is a vector, and here you can store in the vector A and the vector B. And previously, we have stored the vector here already, which is a minus five, three and six and then for the vector b number two and going to be two seven five to perform the cross product a cross b simply go to shift number five for vector here you have vector a and vector b that we store the data already so pretty much just uh, vector A, number three, multiply, which is also can be, is a use for cross in this case. And then go to shift, vector, and B, number four. So here you can see that vector A cross vector B. Press equal sign, and the, the vector cross product is minus 27, minus 13, and 29. Next, we'd like to talk about the dot product. And the dot product for the A and the U vector B is a scalar product. It represents the projection of B on to A. And basically, it just equal to A1 multiply B1 plus A2 multiply B2 plus A3 multiply B3. That's equal to magnitude of A multiply magnitude of B cost data and in order to perform the calculation using the calculator for a dot b vector as we can go to the same location which is shift and vector number five we're going to using the same uh, vector a and b that we 
store previously. So just check vector A is uh, 536 and then just a shift 5 just to check on vector B. So this is uh, going to be 275. So to perform the A dot B, simply just go to shift vector number 5, select number 3 vector A, and then shift, shift again, vector, go to shift, vector, number 3, vector A, and then go to shift, vector again, select number 7, which is a dot, as you can see right here, and then just again shift, number 5, and select vector B, 4, here you see the vector A dot vector B. Click the equal sign, and there we go, we got the stack scalar product. Thank you for watching. I have posted the quick tips at below description. Remember to check out my other calculator tutorial. Have fun learning and applying.